Well, something terrible's happened. My favorite, one of my favorite clients ad accounts got dis uh, disabled. They said that we were in violation of the terms of services. So it got disabled. That's bad news. We were spending 750 bucks a day and for some reason my screen turned off all of a sudden. Anyways, we were spending 750 bucks a day right now. We have an event on Sunday and the ad account is disabled. So I'll tell you what I'm trying to do to get it back on track and uh, that kind of stuff. I got to get working though. Man, that sucks. Okay, I gotta get grinding. All right, so a few updates on the Facebook ad camp or ad account that's been disabled. There's a after researching it, and I haven't had to have this problem happen yet, which has been nice. Um, but after researching what's been going on in general, um, there's only a few things that you can do. You can submit a support ticket request, which helps to basically just say, "Hey, this was flagged um, unintentionally." Uh, please let us know why and we'll get back to you. The second is using VIP chat, which you can go through and chat. I did chat with somebody, a live person. I don't know in which country. Initially, it was through Facebook's AI, which was really interesting to talk with. Um, it was pretty cool. It wasn't necessarily AI, but it was their chat bot. Um, and so first talk to the chat bot and then got an actual person on there. I think it was an actual person. I don't know for sure, but they emailed me and they said, based on what I've submitted so far, it doesn't look like the ad account should be uh, flagged. And then I wanted to see if I could call somebody and get a faster result. I missed their calls several times, but here's kind of what they said specifically. Hi, Brandon. This is Lisa Marie calling with Facebook. I was just returning the request I've seen your notes that you have a problem with your ad account being disabled. I will go ahead and send you the VIP support link so that you can let them know um, and they would be able to help you out with that. Um, I'm a marketing expert here, so I work basically with strategy and marketing plans. Um, but I will definitely send over that email to brandonbrashears at gmail.com and then just follow the prompts, let them know what's going on, and they'll be able to help you out. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So... It shouldn't have been flagged is what they said. Um, last night they did say that there was errors in their system that were deactivating accounts accidentally. Um, and so it should be, that should be the case. There, the Facebook support through VIP chat said that they're going to internally review it after the initial review, it looks okay. And that we should hear back in one to two business days. That's like not a good solution, but it's the best one that we can have right now. So like there's not much else I can do about it. Um, I'll, I'll put the links below. If you ever have a problem with that, uh, you can click these links and the, the chat was pretty helpful. I wish they had a solution that was quicker. I feel like the person was either, they said it's the world support team. So I don't think that they were necessarily us based. So they might do an initial review and then a secondary review. I'll let you know as I find out more. Um, but that is stressful. It's totally crazy. Right now we have all of our eggs in this traffic basket. We're targeting veterinarians and Facebook is the easiest. And that's the truth. It's like, hey, Facebook is so easy because of the, just the detailed targeting that they have. It's easy to get into, you know, put all, all your eggs in the Facebook basket. And a lot of clients are like that. So, you know, developing funnels on YouTube and developing funnels on Google ads, especially with colder traffic, it just takes a lot of, it takes a lot, you know, um, of testing and optimization just because the traffic temperatures are so different. So uh, that's kind of it. And that's kind of where we're at right now. It is a bummer, but it'll be okay, I think. So my client's in out of the country right now too. I'm sure he's stressing out like crazy because he can't call or talk. Um, He's on vacation, so terrible way for him to ruin his vacation. I feel really bad. Um, he's a great client, an awesome guy, and got to get this resolved for him. So, hi, gonna get to it. Gonna get to work in a way. I have a call here in five minutes. Uh, so well, it should be good. All right, getting getting to work.
Okay, so today is pretty much done and uh, it was actually pretty stressful trying to get Facebook working again. Hey, those pills. Oh, it's so out of focus. Why is it so out of focus? Face recognition. So we had a good day today. Um, there's Lil's pills. Hey, how are you feeling? Good. Good. Okay. Why don't you run downstairs, okay? Okay. Um, me and Ben are just gonna play. Michelle's making some dinner. Uh, some cool things that happened today. I had a new client call. It went great. That was a positive. Sorry, it was so shaky. New client call. It went great today. And um, another thing that was cool. That happened today too is I got a request for a speaking engagement on December 7th and December 8th. There's Madeline. Hi there, sweetie. Okay, go downstairs. Um, that's super cool. And uh, today, just trying to build out, build out some diversification for all my clients. It was a really big eye opener to lose um, Facebook account. Um, especially because that's everybody's go-to. So I'm super glad I did ad skill certification for um, Google AdWords and Bulletproof ads and uh, that I have that as a product. But it's difficult to um, have that in general. So anyways, we're gonna go play downstairs now. Say bye, Ben. Say bye. Say bye. Who's that guy? Bye-bye.